This episode is part of our Australian Pale Ale series. Today's beer is Nail Brewing Pale Ale. Hello and welcome to Beer Australia Reviews and today we're going to be drinking some Nail Brewing Pale. Now Nail Brewing is a local microbrewery from Perth, Western Australia. It's actually one of the closest um, breweries to uh, where I am um, and I'm really happy to support this. It's uh, The brewery is just run by uh, just an ordinary local Perth bloke. His name is John Stallwood and he's been brewing beer since 1994. Uh, but in this site where they are, which is in the Bassendine area of Perth, they've been at the current location since 2012. Now the pale ale that I've got here is just about their flagship beer, but it's one of the most unusual um, beers that you're going to come across because they keep changing the recipe. So they call this one the um, an NBT, I think it's, that stands for Nail Brewing Test. So on the bottom of the can is actually a batch number. This is NBT11 and there's a barcode or a QR code um, on the can to scan and a batch series, drink, compare and make your say in the next pale ale. Uh, I think I might be um, partaking in that one, to be honest. Um, I'll have my say about um, Australian pale ales, um, whether you like it or not. Now, in that way, it's a lot reminiscent of the um, the new small English ale breweries because they often make small batches and they just do a few kegs of each uh, particular recipe that they um, uh, that they create. So, if you go to one of the small um, uh, pubs, or when I say a small pub, uh, I mean a, like a non-tied pub. In the UK, a lot of the pubs are owned by uh, some of the big breweries and are, are part of large chains, which they do do real ale in many of those places. But if you want to get some of the ales from some of the micro breweries, you've got to go to some of the independent pubs. Um, my I mean, my favourite one, the, my local pub in Liverpool is called The Ship and Mitre, and they have lots of um, just individual casks of ale from various English um, small breweries, and every single time you go in there, it's a different range of beers, it's a different batch of beer, and it's different every time. It, it's it's great. So uh, I hope that they carry on doing this at Nail because I like to taste different beers all the time. So uh, I will be buying every time they come out with a new batch of Nail Beer, uh, uh, Nail Beer Pale, I will be buying some. So, okay. Now, uh, fortunately, this place does not have a venue that you can go and visit. Uh, they don't have a brew pub. Um, so uh, you do have to go and get this from like your local... Uh, your local beer stockists, your your, um, uh, your local bottle shop. So this one is from my local vintage sellers, and yeah, I, I will definitely be going back and buying some more because I will like to try and see what the next batch is like. Okay, so let's have a go. Let's see what we get. Oh, the smell. Uh, immediately when you open a, a good quality craft beer, if the smell hits you, you know you've got something good. So well done, Mr. Nail. Can I call you Jimmy? Uh, i got a bit of cloudiness in there. Oh, look at the colour. Uh, bubbles on the top of this one are sort of large bubbles um, it's cloudy all the way through um, I can smell it from here that's really good okay now this one um, unlike lots of places they don't have a lot of um, blurb on the website telling you what you should find in this one so I don't know whether we're gonna find in um, piney resins uh, avocados um, hedgehogs whatever I don't know um, but I tend not to believe it until I drink it. So let's have a go. Oh yeah, it's it's got the big hit of citrus. Oh, 
Oh, it's a very dry and very bitter one. But it's got sweetness underneath. Ooh. Oh. On the tongue, it's really... Um, it, it dances around a lot. Oh, there's lots of taste in the background on this one. Uh, there's grapefruit at the back. There's a uh, sherbet tea tang on the, on the tongue. There's some citrus in there, but it's not a big citrus flavour. Some um, beers um, are uh, have lots of grapefruit in them. Uh, this one, you can taste the grapefruit, but it's not uh, overpowering citrus. But it's uh, it's got multiple layers of flavour, this one. It's definitely not a tropical pale ale, so we're not getting any of those sorts of pineapple-y, mango-y uh, sorts of flavours. Um, but there's a, there's a lot of grapefruit in this one. Um, the aroma is really... It, it jumps out at you. It's not the strongest of the aromas, but it, it, there's a lot of it. So sometimes um, the aroma can be lesser but more pungent. But this one is like a big aroma quite a sweet aroma and so it tastes like a sweet beer sort of on the, the tip of your tongue but once it goes inside it then gets drier and it really um, hits you at the back with um, with bitterness and see what else is in there mm, okay um, it's sort of a sweet and sour thing this. Um, I'm not a big fan of sour beers and this is not attempting to be a sour beer. But this, the, it, it's definitely got the, uh, the sweet and the sour um, notes on this one. They've also managed to not produce a beer that tastes like Perth water. If you've ever been to, to Perth and tasted the water out of the tap, my commiserations to you, but it, it's goddamn awful. Um, the water, when you put, you, you drink the water and your mouth feels dry afterwards, it's got that much, um, it's got no sediment in it, but it just feels like it's got lots of things in. So they've managed to avoid that with this beer. So I don't know where they source the water or how, how they treat the water. Um, when they make the beer but it just goes to show how much effort that this company has put into making the beer because uh, if I can't taste Perth water inside this they've done a really good job so uh, well done Mr Nail mm. Mm. okay so um, recently I've been drinking a lot of uh, Western Australian pale ales, especially from the Margaret River region, and they tend to be a little bit smoother than this. This one um, does have a bit more sharpness on it. Not that it's not a smooth beer, not that it doesn't go down really well. It does. It, this has gone down very nicely. Yep. Uh, but it's it's definitely a savouring beer. I it's not the it's not the sort of beer what you would have um, just because you you're really thirsty and you need to swig back a pint. It's not one of them. It's got more to it than that one. Um, it's not particularly malty. Um, it's got lots of hops in there, and you can taste the quality of the hops. This is this is just um, this is just a, a really overall high quality product. So I'm really happy that I'm drinking Nail Brewing Co. Uh, Nail Brewing Test Pale Ale today. So. Uh, shout out to the guy who runs the brewery his name is John Stallwood yep. uh, you're doing a good job there mate uh, I will be buying some more I will be buying some of the other batches uh, now they they do this particular beer in a can which is uh, it's a 375 can is that uh, and they also do a 50 litre can I would buy the 50 litre can if I thought I could yeah, if I thought I could um, yeah, persuade my wife to let me do it. Anyways, um, this is one of the, the 
most highly recommended beers I've drank recently. So Nail Brewing uh, from Perth. And yeah, this is a really good beer. Complex. It's got sharpness. It's got bitterness. Um, but it's avoided the uh, like the the Perth water like tang that it puts on the beers of lesser quality. So yeah, I definitely recommend this one. Thanks for watching.